Welcome back. And just in case you're only tuning in now, you're watching Sports Central, the show that's meant to give you your weekly fix of everything sports. Most definitely. And speaking of fix, golf has grown a lot over recent years, especially because of competitions like the Kenya Open and Victoria Cup that matches local golfers with their international counterparts. And I know we keep talking about this over and over again, but we really meant it. We got to catch up with the Team Kenya golf captain, Bo Sierra, who gave us his perspective on both the sport and some of the most memorable moments of the sport in Kenyan history. Uh, my background in golf starts about 25 years ago. Uh, that's when my dad introduced me to the game. And uh, it's been uh, an enjoyable career since uh, that time, uh, coming up as a junior and now as a senior in the team. So uh, it's been uh, quite an experience. Golf uh, is definitely picking up in Kenya because we have a lot of uh, interest amongst the juniors and amongst uh, uh, other members of the society, uh, people that ordinarily would not have had a chance to play golf. So I definitely think it's uh, on the rise. Uh, we just need to put the right structures and uh, give them the supporting environment for them to thrive. Uh, as you notice uh, at the Kenya Open, we have a lot more local players attending uh, uh, the Kenya Open and we're hoping that as we grow the game, we can have our own local champion. Uh, the one thing that uh, is quite interesting with golf, it sometimes seems like a very passive sport uh, because there's not a lot of uh, physical engagement. However, uh, one thing I've realized about golf is that uh, mentally it forces you to actually play within yourself. It forces you to think throughout the course. It forces you to be very disciplined. It has a lot of uh, mental aspect to it. Uh, the physicality is also coming uh, along with golf as you see some of the uh, big names in golf uh, tend to be very muscular these days, so we're bringing in the physicality aspect. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely a sport on the upswing. One of the best highlights of my golfing career tend to be uh, the Victoria Cup. Uh, coming down the last hole and uh, needing to half my match and having my opponent uh, put the ball where he did, I think I was able to just muster up the confidence and the comfort uh, to just play within my talents and uh, I was able to secure the point for Team Kenya, so that was a proud moment for us. Uh, some of the common terms in golf are uh, par, which is uh, playing the course as uh, you should, whether it's a par 3, par 4, par 5. Uh, when you get a birdie, that is uh, usually one shot less than you're supposed to, which is, uh, let's say, if it's a par 3, you get two on a par 3. So that's always a good thing. Uh, for an eagle, uh, they tend to be a bit rare. Uh, mostly uh, those are two shots uh, below what you're supposed to get. Uh, so let's say it's a par five, you're supposed to get five. If you get four, that's a birdie. If you get three, that's an eagle. And a hole in one, uh, which is uh, something that all golfers try to uh, achieve in their lifetime, uh, is getting a, a one shot into the hole, normally on a par three, uh, but it has been done on other holes as well. Uh, but uh, it can sometimes be a very costly affair because uh, the tradition in golf is that if you get a hole in one, you're supposed to buy drinks for everyone that played that day. Uh, so there's the ringing of the bell and opening of the bar. So uh, sometimes uh, it's bittersweet when you get a hole in one, but uh, nonetheless, it's still an achievement. Being a team captain is all about leadership and uh, just ensuring that uh, you, you definitely get the best out of your team and just showing them how to uh, carry themselves. Uh, so when it comes to training, I happen to be the first one in the training camp, just ensuring that uh, I'm there to show them that it's, you know, it's hard work that definitely pays. As far as uh, team spirit, I ensure that I lead the team by uh, getting everyone's views and ensuring that uh, we are all uh, geared towards uh, performing optimally. The union is uh, putting in place a program to try and get the schools involved 
um, so that we can grow the game from an early age so that um, you have a young young juniors from the age of uh, seven, eight, nine, learning how to play the game competitively and uh, learning uh, the technical aspects of the game so that when they are of age, uh, they will be able to represent the country. The other area is um, one that the Golf Talent Foundation is uh, addressing. Here we have uh, those um, those citizens that may not have the op opportunity to access the game of golf, they are being given a chance uh, by being uh, uh, honored uh, into some of the members clubs. So we are seeing a lot of people that would not necessarily have played the game of golf just taking up the game and uh, you know just blowing our minds as far as the talent that they have. A young man that has the uh, he has the dreams of playing golf, but maybe the circumstances or the environment may not be very supportive. What I would tell him is uh, we have experienced the same thing. I went to school um, where I wasn't able or wasn't allowed to play for three months of the, uh, during the uh, school uh, terms. So I was only able to play during the holidays. And one thing that it teaches you is the discipline aspect of golf, where when it is time to play, it's time to play. When it is time to go to school, it's time to go to school. So you learn that golf is about balance. It's not about uh, just playing golf every day and thinking that's how you're going to improve. Uh, school has uh, a role to play as far as improving a human being. And I think if uh, you're able to uh, balance the two as far as being uh, serious and good at school, you shall have the opportunity to play golf at a very high level because you shall have the foundation needed uh, to play uh, uh, well and to play smart.